Now across the globe, the regular study of astronomy and mathematics began in Baghdad in the 8th century during the time of the second Abbasid Khalifa al-Mansur and continued until the end of the 11th century. Nearly all of the original and creative work was done by Muslims. In the 12th century, the Christians and Jews then started the work of translation from Arabic into Latin and Hebrew and began to carry out research in this field. Initially, the Arabs took a very keen interest in the study of the skies. This was mainly because, living in the desert, they usually travelled at night in connection with trade, war and migration from one place to another. Therefore, they found the direction of their journey with the help of the stars. The clear sky of the desert gave them a chance of making precise observations. There was local knowledge of the fixed stars, the movements of the planets and the changes of the weather. After the coming of Islam, Muslims had to travel on the land and sea mainly for military purposes, for tackling the injustice of corrupt systems and leaders, and therefore looking to establish peace and justice through Islam for people around the world. To help them travel and navigate, the Muslims needed star maps. The star maps were also crucial in determining the time of the prayers and the direction of the Kaaba in Mecca. Therefore, the necessity of such maps resulted in their interest in astronomy. Astrolabes were constructed using these star maps. Astrolabes could determine local time and latitude, measure the angles of stars and locate the positions of the sun, moon, planets and more components of astronomy. Astronomer Ibrahim ibn Habib al-Fazari was the first Muslim who constructed astrolabes. He made a poem on astrology and compiled a ziz, calendar, according to the Arab method. He also wrote on the use of astrolabes and on the armillary spheres. Whilst the origin of the astrolabe may have been Greek, it is agreed that the design was then perfected in the Islamic world. Indeed, the name astrolabe comes from the Arabic version of the Greek term star holder. During the time of Khalifa al-Ma'mun, the important work of translation of Ptolemy's Almagest from Greek into Arabic was completed. Khalifa al-Ma'mun, 786-833, built an observatory in Baghdad in his Bayt al-Hikmah and another in the plains of Tadmur in Syria. In these observatories, the key elements of the Almagest, like the inclination of the ecliptic, the tilt of an orbit, the length of the solar year, and the precession of the equinoxes were determined. Observations on the celestial motions were also carried out and geodetic measurements were made. More original and improved work was done in the 10th century. The study of trigonometry continued, which was considered to be a branch of astronomy at that time. Great attention was paid to the construction of good astronomical instruments, especially to the spherical astrolabe, which was newly introduced at that time. Hamid ibn Ali and Abdullah Muhammad ibn Jabir ibn Sinan al-Batani were the famous makers of astrolabes. Al-Batani is considered to be one of the greatest astronomers of Islam. He carried out astronomical observations of a wide range with remarkable accuracy for about 41 years, 871 to 918. He determined many astronomical coefficients like the precession, 54.5 arc seconds a year, and the inclination of the ecliptic, 23 degrees, 35 arc minutes. With great accuracy, he noticed an increase of 16 degrees in the longitude of the sun's highest point since Ptolemy's time. This led to the discovery of the motion of the solar episodes and of slow variation in the equation of time. El Batani proved the possibility of the annular eclipses of the Sun. El Batani's astronomical work was translated into Latin and Spanish in the 12th and 13th centuries, and it was a great influence on the European scholars of the Middle Ages and Renaissance. To honour the great achievements of Muslims in the field of astronomy, 24 moon craters were named after scholars from Islamic civilization by the International Astronomical Union in 1935, 1970 and 1976.